Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet Clank Deadlocked. I'm Nye, and my ever-present companion is Mako. Oi, oi. What's going on over here? So we're back in our home base, and I'm being told I should go talk to Al. I don't feel like it. But there's nothing to do uh, without talking to him, so let's go back to talk to him. Hey, he gives you something real nice. Hmm. You can... You can you can you can put up with it if if he gives you shinies. Yeah, pretty much. If Al does good things for me, I can deal with him. Well, congratulations! You're gonna get something really useful. You might yes, not seem it, but it Al's is. Dancing. Al's Al. Yes. Hey, and he's dancing to that one bitch that we killed a while ago. Oh, I, for, I forgot about these guys. I really I forgot about these guys. They were one of the best things about this game. Told ya. Yeah. I still have nightmares about it. Once you win a few battles, okay. We can afford to upgrade them. Just come and see me whenever you want to juice mm -hmm. them up. Yeah. So the idea is that now we have these two guys who will be following us around and they'll be helping us to attack whatever. And that one of the things we'll be doing is uh, with the vendor, we can upgrade our guys here. And boy, are we going to want to do that. But mo most of these, okay, the shield link, we well, can do without for now. But almost everything there you're going to want except the cosmetic stuff. And even then, you know, looking cool is its own reward. Oh, yeah, definitely. And I also, I, I, I just looked it up because it was bugging me. Uh, I was right, there is subtitles on us. Unfortunately, they were taken out for an unknown reason for the uh, PS3 version. Oh, God, it's annoying. I mean, what's all the hardware for? Okay. They call this the mission control room. So that now they're giving us the excuse for why Clank's not allowed to be with us during this Ratchet and Clank game. And there's a reason why it's just called just Ratchet Deadlocked. So yeah, basically, Al is our equipment dude. Clank is here just for recon. He's basically Oracle from Batman. And then I'm the only one fighting. Kind of obnoxious. These guys obviously don't know who they're messing with. Unfortunate. Yep. But, well, we haven't gotten to the most obnoxious things. Oh, it gets worse from here. Mm. Now, that being said, I do love this game. This game is... Uh, I enjoy the hell out of this game. It just... It has... Issues. Ranko meter. <laughs> I love the Ranko meter. So, we haven't done anything is what the Ranko meter is actually telling us here. But telling us all of our weapons that we're going to have to fight, all of our weapons we're going to get, and all the enemies we're going to fight. To the Quasar and it tells us how we are ranked up against everybody else. Which is kind of cool. Let's say, Carol, what is... Nothing back here. Okay, that's just our we That's just our uh, shop. Okay, let's go do a mission. Fly to the Battle Dome! Yeah, this game was always very, uh... We thank you for choosing the automated... <laughs> I really do love this. This is a trope I do love. The really evil guy, like being all cordial and everything. <laughs> oh God, Tyrannids! And then here's the uh, commercial for Dread Zone. Do they ever explain exactly why he has a mechanical arm? Nope. Or the significance of him in general, apart from being some shark dude? Nope. He's just some villain who will never show up outside of this game. Kind of sad, really. Well, supposedly there was a... I never went to watch it my, or look at it myself, but apparently there was like a comic series about Ratchet and Clank at some point. And a lot of these enemies did get described and they did have a background in it. Hmm. I never saw too many details on it, but I was exploring the Ratchet Clank wiki once upon a time, trying to. I needed some answer about uh, the uh, Tools of Destruction um, games, and they were describing it for me, and it looked really interesting. I just never got around to looking at it. <laughs> oh God, and this guy. Yeah, now we get to the ones that are really annoying. These two. Specifically him. You seriously aren't seeing that little glitch right there? Especially, look, look, look at the thing they're sitting on. Yeah. You see it I'm now? Seeing, I'm seeing that now, yeah. That's it weird. I don't think my copy ever 
I'm gonna have to pick up my copy and look at that again because I have never noticed that. Well, it's not in it's not in the PS2 game. It's just in the PS3 version. Yeah, well. I've oh got wait! To. Oh, look at this. That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> that was fantastic. We're gonna have to start a. We're gonna have to start like a, a bug counter or something. No, P, I mean this has been this has been a thing that people have been talking about in this game since it came out. Uh, there were also a couple of issues with the um, with the like. Rangeland Collection remakes, but they weren't this bad. You almost didn't notice them for the most part. Okay, so apparently one of my bots died. Actually, if you go far enough, uh, the bot, if you finish that area and they don't die, they'll one of them will just explode spontaneously. Oh, okay. So they teach you how to revive them. That's that's all cool and everything. It's not as if I I know how to play the game. Let's just screw with the player. <laughs> Well, to be fair, this is also, like, the only Ratchet & Clank game where you get companions like this, so... Oh, no, you don't. They totally added Mr. Zircon later on. Mr. The, Zircon... These, these are the prototype Mr. Zircon. I was gonna say, Mr. Zircon is a beast of his own. Nothing stands up to Mr. Zircon. That's pretty much true, actually. But they had to make him a pre-order boss, which really pissed me off. Maybe he's, he's, he's normal in the later ones. Yep. Skill point for 1,000 bolts. Okay, sure. There are about 100 and something odd, 150, I think, ish. Uh, 165, skill point. actually. How many? 165. 165. Uh, they're scattered across the entirety of the game. Um, if you do them, you get money. Which, I mean, you gotta remember in the old Ratchet and Clanks, when you did them, you got, um, like, skill platinum point. bolts and you got sheets and such. Well, you, you still unlock cheats as well, but you get a little bit of money bonus as well. Uh, those ships, you're going to see them pretty much all over the entire game. Um, if you've got enough weaponry, we don't yet. You can blow them up before they drop anything off and make your life a lot easier. Now, if I remember correctly, either I can turn that or I can force the bots to do it. Yep. Well, you you can turn it right yourself. I... Not sure if you you can make the bots do it yet. I think you have to finish like the first area or so. Oh, I have to actually. Okay, well we'll learn this skill then. That the, the shield link that they that Al has for sale will actually be useful for this sort of thing. Yeah, because doesn't that like they they force a shield while you do that? Yeah, when you're while you're doing that, you can have one of them put a shield around it. Um, and then there it gets are... blown up in your step. Yeah, it just it takes damage damage for you. Um, again, like, there are times when you will want to do the tur bolt turning yourself. Yeah. Not that often. And now we get another little trick. Our bots are come EMP enabled. Because mm -hmm. you ain't getting through that shield on your own. And now we'll just shoot it. I mean, the bots are kind of a cool thing, and I really like the concept, because I've always liked playing games where I have, like, backup. It feels like the bots were actually done pretty well. Challenge complete. Our first medal. Yep. And see, there are 15 skill points in in the uh, dread zone arena, and we've just we've gotten one of them so far. Mm -hmm. We also get a chunk of cash for it. Just un just unlocked Catacomb Four, and now we get to get a cutscene. Man, I this guy just drives me nuts. Not the one on the left, but the one on the right. Oh, Ace Hardlights. Mm hmm. If it's any consolation, the viewing public doesn't like him much either. Oh, nobody likes him. He is such a tool. Well, that's kind of the point. I know, but he's such a tool! <laughs> you don't really understand how much of a tool he is! He is such a tool! <laughs> What I love is that Max is yelling at him to let him know how much of a tool he actually is. And I love how they never refer to it, but Max curses, it gets bleeped out, and Ace responds to the bleep, not to the curse. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> the elastic hair, of course. And Max goes nuts over money. Yeah, Gleeman Vox loves him his one money. You need to choose where you are going to compete next. Where did I get Max from? I don't know. Don't know. Okay, things happen. Gleeman Vox. Yeah, I don't know where I got Max from. Okay, so... After all, we are watching the Vox Network. Are we? Okay. Yep. Okay, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Let's see. What, what is... Okay, I know one of these is... I think this one's Revisit... No, that's Battle Dome specifically, and this is the one that goes to the next areas. Right, okay. That's the one that goes to anywhere that's not the Battle Domes. Right. Okay, folks, we'll see you next time as we go explore not Battle Dome areas. Should be a riot. We'll see you soon.